Listen, you guys, barcodes, they are evolving. By 2027, 2D QR codes, they will replace the old ones. Smarter, richer, and more powerful. Here's how QR Tiger helps you stay ahead. Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, getting right back into it, I would like to talk about what is known as GS1. Technically, we got QR Tiger slash GS1. If you guys do not know anything about GS1, this is literally the global standard for product barcoding, okay? So GS1 Digital Link replaces basic 1D barcodes with smart 2D QR codes. So, all right, now these QR codes, you guys, they adapt to the user, such as the consumer, retailer, they're perfect for warehousing, and so much more. Now, the links, you guys can see right here, once people, you know, scan, they can get a little link. Once you guys understand, they provide a lot of uh, rich data, right? Instructions, product authenticity, allergens, we got ingredients, regulation, and legislation. We got offers and promotions. We got brand information. I mean, it's great for inventory as well, and so many other things. If we scroll down, you guys will see right here, they kind of talk about, uh, we got Sunrise 2027. So, you guys, they are expecting a massive global migration from 1D to 2D barcodes by when? Well, 2027, okay? Which is crazy. So we're talking about a global system of standards with more than 100 member countries, okay? So this is going to be big, you guys. So major retailers, there's a good chance that they are going to be requiring 2D barcode usage, all right? And technically, GS1, Digital Link, you guys, it is central to this transition, so QR Tiger, it empowers businesses to stay compliant and competitive, all right? So if we actually take a look here, you guys can see where the states get started, all right? So just going to break it down for you. You can actually generate GS1 digital link QR codes easily. Not only that, they are very dynamic. You can easily edit them. And not only that, you guys, I want you guys to understand you can do all this to help your business meet GS1 standards. All right. Now they do provide real time scan analytics and product engagement data. So you guys are probably thinking, who is this good for? Well, listen, all right, it's great for businesses, right, for better tracking, inventory, compliance, and marketing. For consumers, we're talking about instant product info, sustainability, transparency, reviews, and promotions. And you guys, obviously, this works across many different type of industries. So we got like retail, we got food, we got pharma, we got logistics, sustainability, and so much more. All right. So I just want to break it down for you. If you guys would like, you can go up here to the very top. You're going to be able to click that register button. Okay. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. You guys can see how easy and simple this is. Right. So once you officially log in, you can go to your account. Right. You can go to dashboard. You guys can see there's going to be a whole bunch of important details. But once again, you guys, use cases, retail. Right. It's great for, let's say, product reviews as well. They got um, what size guides and discounts at point of sale food well you guys it's great for nutrition info origin traceability organic certifications healthcare dosage info right which is great expiration anti counterfeiting verification and then we even got logistics so we're talking about real-time inventory we're talking about shipping status and sustainability once again transparency on materials labor and recyclability so if we take a look here you guys will see we do have the dashboard all right and you guys can see a whole bunch of important details obviously these resources kind of talked about quite a bit of this but we can go over here to create qr code all right so you guys this right here, it literally supports everyone from small businesses to global enterprise. It offers customer service, tutorials, and educational resources. You guys, multiple QR code types beyond GS1. So we are talking about, we got like URL, right? We got file, we got link page, we got multi URL, we got app stores. You guys, they have a lot of different things here, okay? Now it's recommended Okay, you guys, that you go through this and try it out. So if you guys are looking to do this, you're going to be able to create, let's like, say, like a, like a value. You can put some numbers in there. 
key qualifiers right here, product variant. We got batch or lot number. We got serial number. So obviously that's important for you, especially if you're using an ERP system. We even have over here like packaging date, sell by date, expiration date. So let's say, you know, you got product or food or something expires, whatever. You can add all that information, custom AI. Scrolling down, you're going to choose once again between URL. We got file, link page, multi URL, and then we even have app stores. Okay. So you guys, you can literally choose any of these okay which is actually pretty cool so uh let's say just basic url you can put like a website here okay pretty easy and simple then after that you're going to choose the pattern you got eyes right you got colors you got frame so there's going to be many different things that you can actually do here just kind of showing you guys exactly what it looks like all right then we got the pics right you can even see the different files right pdf by SVG, EPS, many different ones that you can actually choose from, all right? Now, if you guys have any type of questions, you can definitely click right up here, watch this demo, and it's gonna provide you all of the details that you need. Alrighty, ladies and gents. So once again, you definitely wanna make sure that you are ahead of the curve. Start generating GS1 digital link QR codes today with QR Tiger and future proof your business. Check out the link down below in that description. Make sure that you leave a comment, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.